Shalom, all praise, is glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to those who elect. I'm the brother Kaya, GMS Indiana, in uh, Indianapolis. And what you see on screen is the word temptation. Uh, title of this lesson will be uh, GMS Word Search Temptation. Just build a lesson around this word. Inspired through the spirit uh, uh, at Bible study, the brother brought out this definition. You know, he didn't go to the Edom or he didn't get it in the scriptures. He just brought it out. You know, when you just Google it and go to, um, you know, dictionary definitions. But it says something that jumped out. Uh, definition one, it says the act of influencing by exciting height. Uh, I said height, Salakia. The act of influencing by exciting hope or desire. And when you look at the current state, What's going on with America in comparison to the previous state, right, with the uh, uh, with the whole thing concerning uh, the medical situation, right? Well, we we coming back with around two of that. So let's do a compare and contrast. Like when it first happened, they came with the mandates, right? And a lot of people complied without too much resistance. There was resistance and there was also compliance, right? But what was one of the main influencers to get you to comply? This notion of going back to normal, right? This notion of uh, being able to go back, spending money, be becoming a consumer again, all right? Going out to eat to the restaurants, going to the clubs, going to the bars, just folly, fun, pleasure, you know? So... Our people, you know, the American citizens, as well as so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, are tempted, all right, read another def uh, definition, are enticed, enticement, that's a synonym, a synonym, all right, to betray themselves, all right, because the scripture says, never trust thy enemy, all right, as I am rusted, so does his wickedness, all right, so... Our enemies, these other nations, these heathens spearheaded by Esau, they not going to never change. They always going to be our enemy. Just like iron, it, eventually it will rust. All right. And you can't get once this rust, once your car start rusting, you got to replace that part with a fresh part. All right. So it's first John. Let me grab first John two and. Uh, so I'll give you one second. <clears throat> First <clears throat> John two and fifteen. And, and verse sixteen as well. <clears throat> Starting at verse fifteen, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. All right. And that's what you're being tempted with by the devil. He's tempting you with the lust of the flesh. It's like when uh, when Satan uh, tempted Yahweh. All right. At the very end, he said, I'll give thee all these kingdoms if you bow down and worship me. So ultimately, that's what our, our enemy is doing. Esau Edom. I'll give you all of these false luxuries what appear to be luxuries all right if you if you uh bow down and worship me because revelation the 13th chapter says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bind all right to receive a mark in the right hand and the forehand all right that you can neither buy nor sell uh, without it roughly paraphrasing now a couple verses up it said uh, he causes those who wouldn't worship the image of the beast to be killed. All right. So the beast being the NATO and e, e, uh, NATO and the EU. All right. Which represents the ruling uh, Edomite white supremacist power structure. All right. And then the image being uh, uh, their doctrine, their doctrine, their narrative of how you're supposed to live and interact on the planet. 
what's what you should do and what you shouldn't do, what's okay, what's acceptable, their image, their way to 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 be what they consider right, right? So if you don't accept that and, and honor that and worship that, then what? Then you, you they consider you an enemy. So it says, uh, and that's the and that's the what's that's what we're headed to. But to get you to that point to actually accept that the the M O T to the B, all right, that you're gonna be enticed, you're gonna be tempted, you know. So uh, it says, uh, verse sixteen, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, right? They're gonna tempt you with the lust of the flesh. Going, uh, let me reiterate, going out to the restaurants, the bars, the club. All right, just going on vacation, you know, because uh, he has conditioned you to seek that out. It says, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is but is of the world. And he's in control. He has charge of the world and he can he conditions you to seek to put pleasure first and to, to, to seek all these things out. Just look at the TV, look at his media. Look at social media, how everybody runs to post pictures and to show the rest of the world uh, how well they may or may not be doing in society. All right. Perception. People caring about the world, perceiving them as as rich or beautiful, you know, with the filters and, and, and all the um, all of the us. Uh, uh, visuals the uh the uh optometrics how you know you know whatever whatever they use because they study you they sit there and just sit they sit there and study you they study the human brain human activity and they capitalize on it you know but it says uh verse 17 and the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever all right, so let me get Revelation 3 and 10. Revelation 3 and 10. It says, uh, and these words in red, so this is uh, Yahweh Shai. This is what he said. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right, so you have kept the word of the Lord's patience, which the word kept is shamar, which means to guard. All right. So being a being a steward of the word of God. All right. And, and, and embodying it, because once you do that, you 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 hate the world and you you are you walk contrary to the world, you know. And just and just doing that and just being having that mindset makes you an enemy. Of, of the state, just having that mindset, that's why when you read Luke. Uh, the first chapter, verse 68 going on down, it says that we may serve the Lord, all right, without fear from our enemies, roughly paraphrasing. Serve the, just keep our ways, you know, our practices, our culture in peace. So it says, uh, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So the word try means test. All right. So this is a test. This is a test to prove who do you serve. All right. And also when you go into the word temptation, it can sometimes mean a test, too. All right. Because not only does he uh, the devil has power over things like. Uh, you know, your, 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 uh, your food, your, your drinking source. You know, he got he got control over everything. All right. He got literally control over everything and he's consolidate consolidating more control, you know, making the uh, right and uh, right and grievousness. You know, like the scripture speaks about uh, warning to them that write uh, unrighteous decrees in uh, Isaiah the 10th chapter. Making it illegal, basically, essentially making it illegal to live off the grid. So he's forcing you to participate in his system. It's virtually illegal to live off the grid. Uh, 
certain holistic uh, practices is, 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 is illegal, okay? Holistic meaning whole, you know, in regard to health, all right? They, you got to, they, 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 they want to make it where you got to go to them for everything, all right? The scripture said you should go to your enemy for the one of all things, but that's even, he's intensifying on that. If I'm not mistaken, uh, having a garden uh, in certain places is illegal, all right? They want you to be totally reliant and totally dependent. So that way, when the temptation come, when the enticement come, other definition says, uh, verse two, the desire to have or do something that you know you should avoid. All right, now when that uh, when that uh, when that right hook came, that 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 that, that you know, when that left hook, when that uppercut came, all right, a lot of people felt in the back of their mind that they shouldn't get it, that they shouldn't take it. A lot of people have regret over that, but they desire to participate in the festivities, you know, of party, 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 fun, 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 superseded that. All right. It says, uh, we shall come upon all the world. So the whole world will have to uh, uh, face this. Just like the whole world had to face the previous, uh, the, the, the just recent past situation. All right. That was a prelude. All these countries so-called got beef and turmoil, but they all was a uh, had the same mind, so to speak. In that regard. So this is a uh, second Thessalonians. Verse 2 and 9. <clears throat> All right, that's a long news. Come on. Uh, let me see. Verse 9 says, even him who's coming is after working of Satan. Right. So he's coming in the, in the spirit of Satan. He coming in the operations of Satan. And Satan did the same thing to Yahweh. He offered him. He enticed him with the world. I right, for him to be a servant to him. And that's what Esau Edom is going to do with this M.O.T. to the B. With, he, with these coming lockdowns and these coming restrictions, she's going to entice you with operating in the world, new norm, going back to normal, etc., at the price of you serving him with the ultimate service, enslaving yourself by accepting his MOT to the B. Because the MOT to the B is not going to have to be forced, okay? He trying to he he's going because uh, the, the scripture says he calls it all. So cause means he going to enact and put certain things into play. That's why the, the, he manipulates the, the, the economy. You know, he manipulates the media. He manipulates the truth. All right. Not this truth with, with that we in. All right. But just information. He manipulates information. He manipulates <coughs> plants and animals. You know, he manipulates every he, he manipulates everything. And ultimately, he trying to ultimately he trying to manipulate you. Because you're going to you're going to think this is going to be the answer to you. And it's just just going to get worse because when you read. uh, What is that? Hold on. Let me grab some real quick. This is second Ezra five and twelve. Uh, it says at the same time. Shemil, I ain't even read the Second Thessalonians. All right, I'm gonna read this anyway. Uh, Second Ezra five and twelve. It says, "At the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtain." So you gonna uh, do these different things? You gonna comply with the ex with the expectation of something better or an answer, right? 
And it's, gonna, and it's not going to happen. It says they shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. So it don't matter what you do. All right. Because look, this is the this is your how about me. I was shy doing all of this. All right. When he get to working, what can what can you do? All right. But through the wisdom, you know, like Yahweh Shah told his disciples, he says, look, I, I told you all things. All right. That's why it says the scripture says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Because knowing some, knowing, expecting something to happen, like they say, the, the greatest fear is the fear of the unknown. Everything that's prophesied in the scriptures, uh, like uh, when you read uh, Ezekiel, it says written within and without was mourning, lamentation and woe. The average person and the majority of people ain't, 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 they ain't expecting what's coming. All right. Especially. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I'll say that because you got because you got, you know, I don't want to just I'll say this. You got people out there that know what's going on. You know what I mean? You got people out there that's paying attention to the economy and paying attention to the politics and they seeing where the world going, you know, and they uh, they not they expecting the, uh, the worst, even though they they still not going to. They not expecting what's to come. They expecting the worst, but they don't, they don't have no idea. I say that they don't have no idea. But the vast majority of Americans, especially so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, the 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 Israelites, nah, man, don't get it. Ain't ain't, ain't nowhere near uh, close to a coup. So now the the the, the element of surprise on you, you know. The fear of the unknown is just a whole lot of unknown things gonna be happening because you ain't ain't girded yourself up with the with the wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So uh Second Thessalonians two and nine it says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, right? So he gonna have uh different things to 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 uh Place confidence in people. Place hope in people. That goes back to the to the temptation definition. Let me read that again. It says the act of influencing by exciting hope or desire. Right. So just like the magicians, when they duplicated the first uh, three uh, uh, plagues, all right, that the Lord sent through Moses. That that emboldened Pharaoh and the and the and the Egyptian people. That gave them a little, a little hope, you know. That emboldened them, and Esau gonna have his little things like he he uh bringing the uh, uh uh you know the blind can see per people born blind. He he's figuring out ways to restore vision, to restore hearing. They coming up with all these breakthroughs and med uh and medicine and technology. All right. One dude had some type of uh, MOT to the B in him, and he had auto tune. And they got one dude who had a, a brain implant, and he had the internet on there, and he could just basically search on Google in his brain and just think of it. Now we know how this devil works. He has his little inventions, and he has his little, you know, what he come up with, but. Ultimately, what ended up happening? The sad, the, the sad effects. So it's a lying wonder, man. And then, then some of the some of the technology is just a straight up lie. You got people that still believing in the moon landing. And scientists from the from from the fifties said that they you couldn't land on the moon. They said it was a light, which the the scriptures corroborate that. Well, actually, the, the Canadian scientist, he said it was it was made of plasma. He said it, he said the moon was made of plasma, but plasma is light. Or it's of light. It's related to light in some way. I remember that. But that was a lying wonder. And he got more. He says, uh, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Right. So 
those going to be the people the Most High through his son not going to keep from the hour of temptation. All right? Because, you know, you talk to people and they say, well, I ain't going to do it. No, you don't know what you're going to do because you ain't been stressed. All right? The average, you know, Israelites as a whole understand uh, stress and been stressed. That's why the opioid epidemic devastated white America much more than the crack epidemic devastated so-called black America. And various uh, inconsistencies with the law, you know, going to, you know, whatever, whatever. But let me see where I'm at. Verse 10 again, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Right. Yeah. So you're not going to be the Lord not going to keep you. All right. From the uh, from the hour of temptation. Like I said earlier, you can say what you will do and won't do. But nah, you don't you don't you don't know. How do you know? The average American <laughs> barely fast. The average American, regular person who got a, you know, regular nine to five, you think they fasting? Think they fasted before on purpose and actually made it with, with, with 25 cent and, 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 and penny burgers? But it says, uh, uh, verse 11, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Right. And that's, man. The Lord done sent that delusion. These people are delusional. And they hang on, they hang on to the lie. They hang on to it. And then you look at it, you be like, damn, is they hanging on to this lie? Because they just don't want to admit that they was wrong and, 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 and therefore seeming like they dumb. Because, you know, people hate being, you know, people hate feeling dumb. And sometimes it's that, it's partially that, but ultimately the Lord just, the, this the reasoning that the Lord gave these people. That's just, that's their reasoning. The Lord sent them a strong delusion. That's, 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 that's right to them. You can show them all the information and all the science and all the logic. That's, that's not their reasoning. It says, uh, verse 12. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's what it is. People choose. And that's the that's the and, and, and it's ultimately it goes back to the battle of the flesh and the spirit. All right. Because the flesh wants to just, you know, wants, wants pleasure. It just wants them, 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 them feel good. You know, uh, the, you eat cheesecake and ice cream and. You know, but then, yeah, that's that's tastes good on one end, but on the other end, it's ultimately detrimental. You know, so you got to make the the, the, the the better decision for the outcome in the for the end outcome. All right. Considering considering your last end, if you will. So with that. I pray this edif uh, I pray this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. Once again, all praise is glory and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. Shalom.